26, 2022, Perry Fire and Emergency Services was called to Planet Fitness just after lunch for a reported person down. Our initial dispatch information was that there was a person on a Stairmaster exercise machine that had gone unresponsive. As the fire units began their response, we were told that bystander CPR was in progress on a female patient. Rescue 1 and CAR 200 reported to the scene. When the crews arrived, we found an unresponsive female laying on the floor uh, inside the facility. Fire Lieutenant Gerald Michael and his son, DeAndre Grissom, were both in the gym in an off-duty status and had witnessed the lady collapse. They were immediately able to recognize her need for help and acted. The patient had no pulse and was not breathing. They immediately initiated CPR. Also recognizing, recognizing the need for assistance, Planet Fitness employee, Ms. Tiffany Hernandez, quickly rushed to them with the AD. Once applied, the AD advised that a shot was needed. Eventually, she would be defibrillated two more times, or two times total, while CPR continued. After the second shot, a pulse was able to be felt, and she began to regain, regain consciousness. Perry Fire and Emergency Service personnel remained with her for continual monitoring and further assessment until the EMS crews arrived. At the time of her transport to a medical facility, she was alert and talking with the crews. If these initial life-saving procedures had not been done, the outcome of this situation could have been much different. The quick response, recognition of the severity of the medical emergency, and the immediate life-saving efforts of Lieutenant Michael, his son DeAndre Grissom, Ms. Fernandez and the Perry Fire Emergency Services Rescue One crew directly resulted in saving the life of Ms. Janet Schoenfeld. These actions qualify each member to receive a life saving award from Perry Fire Emergency Services and the highest appreciation from the city.
coming up with a tank ready to uh, drive. You really can't see that sign on that big giant here. They go across the yellow line. We had this right issue here on the brakes and we had cars fighting our way to coast. Um, but I talked to Miss uh, Diamond about it, and she said it was a mistake by this. But somebody didn't get on it because when you come around with a thing, they'll be able to drive. You cannot see that. You got you a got, uh, little air in the road here. But once you get around that clear, you only see the air when you want to get around.
residential uh, districts. Um, in doing that, there are some modifications that were uh, necessary to um, update, reorganize and update the purpose statement of these residential districts. Uh, we also felt we needed to update the C3 and the historic preservation overlay district purpose. Um, in addition to um, this, there were modifications necessary in Article 5, which relate to the uh, dimensional standards for, um, for the different districts, and so those were updated. And the definition of flag lot was uh, modified and some standards uh, uh, put in place or recommended uh, to address uh, future flag lots to address um, potential impacts on existing uh, neighborhoods. Uh, the Planning Commission uh, and staff both recommend approval of this request. Questions, Councilor?
I know you've all been getting questions from the public. I know you've all been kind of wondering yourselves what's going on with the new City Hall project. Now, we haven't reached this point in time, the point milestone in that. Uh, basically, all the design work, uh, getting the construction manager on board, having the architectural team work with the construction management team. Uh, they've been working for months now and working diligent, diligently on your behalf uh, to provide to you all a quality product at a fair price. Uh, before kind of getting into it, I, I must say that
just a quick detail of the, what we found in the ceiling and in the attic. You know, it's always interesting. You never know what you're going to find when you go up in the attic of an old building. Uh, lots of evidence of work there over the years, but uh, again, uh, police report it's in very good shape, very good repair. Uh, on the ground floor, uh, really was no uh, work needed. That floor is, is essentially uh, uh, will remain exactly the same. On the second floor, in order to achieve code compliance for a current code, that covers the city of Barry in the state of Georgia. We did make some minor adjustments there, and so there will be a little bit of work on that floor. But certainly the top floor is the space that will have to remain the majority of the work. Just a building section kind of in indicating the nice space that this room will occupy on the third floor. Uh, all in all, just a really nice um, project. Uh, and again, thank you very much for
já falou.